And a very good Monday, everybody. Trace Adams here. Happy Halloween to one and all. Trick or treat time is here. Make sure you get the good candy. Give out to the kids at your front door tonight. Take good care of them. Those kids love this holiday. Uh, and it is a good one, of course. Who doesn't enjoy getting dressed up in a costume, going door to door and getting free candy? Good stuff indeed. Wish I was a little bit younger and could partake of it because I love me some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, especially when they're right out of the freezer. They have to be frozen. If I get them on the trail at Halloween and they're at room temperature and a little bit melted, definitely not my cup of tea. But you throw them in the freezer for a few hours and they come out, oh, that's like heaven on earth, isn't it? Anyway, I digress. Heaven on earth came yesterday when I got back on track. Give you a 1500 star raise the bar winner on Houston, getting the win and the cover over Detroit. Well, tonight we've got two plays, one of them in the NFL, top rated 1000 star NFC North lock on Minnesota and Chicago. It matches last Monday's top rated 1000 star winner on Denver over Houston. We're going to make it two in a row under the Monday Night Lights tonight, winning night number 170 of 301. And over the past 378 days, now just over a year, $1 bet per unit, you're up $78,200. Also available, 500 star pay after you win, NBA blowout, winner number 24 of 38 overall. It's a double digit winner that's online until five minutes before the tip off. Must win, must cover, or you will not be charged. That's the way the pay after you win play works. There you have it. There it is on this Halloween, a 2 and 0 oh, treat for your asses. On Monday evening, we'll talk to you again Tuesday by 2 o'clock Eastern. Your comp winner tonight is to go under in the Vikings and the Bears. Minnesota's defense able to hold opponents just 14 points per contest. I know Jay Cutler is back, and he has the experience to find the end zone, as he has so often done against the Vikings in his career. But Minnesota defense is just that good this season, and I don't think the points are going to be coming all that hot and heavy tonight, at least not on the bear side and likely not on the Viking side either because the Vikings have multiple injuries now. Jarek McKinnon is going to be out for tonight at running back, so it'll be Matt Asiata. He's more of a fullback load uh, that carries the football, not known for his breakaway speed. I just don't see the points adding up to an over. Minnesota, Chicago, under on Monday. We'll talk to you Tuesday, 2 o'clock Eastern. As always, Trace Adams, dead serious about winning.